foreign secretary of India who is addressing a press conference on the back of the big quad summit. Let's start cut across to that press conference. Let's listen in life. Cooperation among quad partners as also between the quad partners and the countries of the Indo-Pacific for free, open and inclusive Indo-Pacific aimed at peace, stability and prosperity in the region. Discussions during the summit were focused on mutually beneficial consultations and as I said, agenda was constructive and the tone positive. Two, support for ASEAN unity and centrality as the Quad and the countries in the Indo-Pacific pursue their shared goals in the region. Three, focus on common efforts to respond on COVID-19, including in particular the post-pandemic recovery and strengthening of health security and health-related infrastructure. Fourth, work together to promote infrastructure delivery as also efforts to bridge the infrastructural gaps in the Indo-Pacific region and do it in a manner that does not burden the countries of the region with unsustainable debt and unsustainable infrastructure projects. Fifthly, the Quad leaders also welcomed a new Indo-Pacific partnership in marine maritime domain awareness, a regional initiative to help the countries bolster their capabilities to respond to humanitarian and natural disasters as also to combat illegal fishing. Next, shape and build partnership for greater cyber security and for transparent, trusted and reliable supply chains across the region including in particular in the field of critical and emerging technologies. Quad leaders also issued strong condemnation of all forms of terrorism and a call for expeditiously bringing to justice the perpetrators of the Mumbai and Pathan court terror attacks. Also coordinate more effectively and timely responses to the humanitarian assistance disaster relief incidences in the region future through the agreed Quad HADR guidelines.